You want clean spirit. Who are you? Answer in the mighty name of Jesus. Fire will go all over your body. Who are you? You want clean spirit. Answer right now clearly. Who are you and what's your function in this body? What did you say? Witchcraft. How did you enter her life? Generations. From past generations. How many of you in there? Thousands. Thousands. <laughs> what have you done to her life? Destroy. You destroyed. How did you destroy her life? How did you destroy her family? Try to kill all of them. You try. You're the one that's responsible for killing them. Trying to kill them. What have you done to her finances? Destroyed everything. You destroyed everything. Speak clearly and louder. What What have you done to her relationships? I bring everybody out of her life. You bring everybody out of her life. How How did you destroy her career? I don't let her go anywhere. You don't let her go anywhere. How did you destroy her health? I bring her lots of sicknesses. You bring her lots of sicknesses? And weaknesses. And weaknesses. Mm. You unclean spirit? You made the greatest mistakes by allowing her to come here? This is the arena of liberty. And right now, I commend you in the mighty name of Jesus. Loose this woman! Fire all the ghosts all over her body right now. Loose this woman! Every single one of you, I command you, out! You spirit of witchcraft, I command you, out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Loose your grip over her life. Loose your grip over her life. Loose her right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Every darkness in her body, in her life, in her mind. Out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Out in the mighty name of Jesus. Follow the ghost. Follow the ghost in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Follow the ghost in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command you out in the mighty name of Jesus. She's a temple of the Holy Spirit. Loose this woman right now. In Jesus' name. Loose this woman in right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Fire the Holy Ghost. Fire the Holy Ghost. All over your body. All over your body right now. Fire the Holy Ghost. All over her life. Every part of her body be consumed by the fire of the Ghost. Out. You're back on the floor right now. Out. Out right now in the mighty name of Jesus. You cannot stand in the presence of the Almighty God. Out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Loose this woman. Loose this woman right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Loose this woman. Every single one of you. You spirit of witchcraft. Out. Out. Loose this woman. Loose this woman right now. Come on. Loose this woman right now. Loose this woman right now. Every single one of you. Out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We declare you free in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Come on, church, let's put our hands together for Jesus. Come, I'm saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We welcome you today to the Anointing Water Prayer Line in the United States. Can you tell us your name and where you're from? Uh, my name is Lyubov. I'm from Kent. Washington. And can you tell us what was the problem that brought you here today to receive prayer with the anointing water? Yeah, um, I have in my family last year, my uh, sister Maria, she got sick, almost died. After three months, my brother in stroke paralyzed. And after three months in October, my sister got an accident. She's still in coma. And I find out something spiritually happened to my family. And I decided to uh, do something about it. And then I met Pastor Vlad, and he told me, invite me to come here and get a prayer. And what can you say has been happening in your life, in your dreams, and anything like that that would make you say that you had a spiritual problem? Yeah, uh, in my dreams, sometimes I um, got uh, like bad dreams. Somebody steals something from me, or s something like tormenting come to me, and something like I didn't accomplish, or if I go to some trips so I let on my bus and I worry or somebody stealing my purse on my car it happens sometimes and I wake up so nervous and so scary uh, yeah sometimes like uh, somebody tormenting me like men try to kill me and some 
happen really, really not not good dreams. And when can you say did all of these problems begin in your life? Uh, the problem became so one when I was 20 years old one my friend came to me he said oh you have really old Bible you should um, write it to the um, several addresses different countries say because in our country Ukrainian we don't have a Bibles in um, so he said you should write it down to the different country and they can send you really nice Bible so I wrote down several countries in only one man from Finland he sent me Bibles and he sent me lots of tapes for, with um, preachers and then we begin to um, communicate and then I find out he is not man of God he was using um, religion materials being uh, which rock like witchcraft spirit he has and he told me he is sending a lots of materials to Christian ladies and Christian men and then after this I began to hear voices and then begin to talk to him in the spirits and then um, after five years I find out I burn every his letters and and give it to somebody his Bible I didn't know what to do with the Bible and the lady she died so you mean to say that you were initiated into witchcraft through the Bible that this man sent you yeah I guess so and how has this affected your life since this happened to you what kind of problems were you experiencing <sighs> yeah my life become really miserable I Sometimes people go away from me and they don't talk to me and I didn't find out. And after this, lots of witches come to me right away and they probably put curses on me. Then I couldn't couldn't do anything in my life and and then lots of accidents happened and um, a lots of I went through lots of de deliverance but instead of to be delivered I got a lots of problem in my life so when you say that witches were coming to you what can you say about that what do you mean uh, I mean like if I um, just go find a place to live it's witch there if I go to work it's witch there if I try to meet some people I find out they um, they witches then I go to church witches come to me I was like surprised how come they I find out later they are witches they begin to call me five o'clock they begin to talk to me in uh, lots of in churches everywhere I was surprising how come they just draw me so quickly and they begin to curse me they begin to um, do bad stuff to me can you tell us how this evil spirit has affected your finances as well as your relationships yeah um, it was hard to find a job and then um, my relationship I I guess like um, I I couldn't find uh, like some happen like uh, if I meet some person right away they draw away from me if, no reason and um, if somebody try to help me right away next couple of days they don't call me I call them they never respond and they try stay away from me and um, I was kind of really and in, in uh, at work uh, lots of um, happened to me uh, um, people blame me for nothing and I didn't do it and they blame me and they tried to took away from me my job and some a uh, lots of lots of hard hardships happened to me all over so many years and can you tell us what happened to you today as you were receiving prayer with the anointing water yeah I feel like I um, something like shaking inside of me and I feel like everywhere like tickling every every uh, every in my body in a weakness do you believe that as you've received that prayer with the anointing water that you have been healed and delivered from this evil spirit of witchcraft that was tormenting your life yeah I, I believe it I believe it Amen. Well, we believe that Jesus Christ has healed you and delivered you from this evil spirit of witchcraft that caused torment in your life and that has brought uh, financial hardships and hardships within your relationships as well, that it has been brought to an end today in Jesus' mighty name. So we want to encourage you that as you have received this wonderful deliverance, that you will make God's word the standard for your life so that this healing and deliverance will remain permanent in your life in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.